My family's been doing this since before I was born. It's been a long, a long family thing for us, you know. My dad started it with my uncle back in 1969. And around 1977, my uncle decided he wasn't sure what he was going to do. So he wanted my father to sell the business. And my father decided to just buy him out. So we kept the name. It wasn't a big deal because Lenny's still my uncle. The name was already known by then. And then it just progressively got busier. My mom would stay here in the daytime while my dad ran a business in Manhattan. He had a hero shop. My dad would leave work there, go in at 5 o'clock in the morning there, come here by 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and work here till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. And to boot, my father still calls me every single day. And he still yells at me, why are you doing this this way? Why are you doing that that way? That's not the way I would do it. You got to do it my way. But I also, you know, like this community is like, these are all my friends. These people grew up, we grew up together. You know, now I got people coming they come with their kids and I was serving them when they were in elementary school. The one thing that does stay consistent is people love pizza. And I think what's made my family so popular in the neighborhood is that it's a neighborhood spot. People count on us. They know we're here. They know we're open late. I have customers there, you know, somebody will walk in, they'll order food and reach in their pocket and be like, oh my God, I forgot my money. Turn around and see what you're worried about. I'll, I'll see you when I see you. Get out of here. Take the food. Go. It's what a neighborhood spot is supposed to be. People come through the door, just, they're like family. I know mostly every single person by name. Being a kid, my father always used to say to us, they're not just customers, you gotta learn who they are. Ask them what their name is. When we had this opportunity to expand this now, I went to my father and I said, Pop, we can just keep the store the way it is, or we can open up the store, make it bigger, make it beautiful, be able to give more service to our clientele. My father turned around and said to me, it's time to give back. Everything my family has is from this community. Without this community, I would have nothing in my life. Customers come into the store and beg my father to raise the price. Prices. I swear God is my witness. They'd walk in and say, John, when are you going to raise your prices? What are you, nuts? You know? And my father always said to us, and this is true, there's a pizzeria on every block. There's enough people in this community for us to all do good. So I'm going to give them the price that they're going to come to see us. And they did. They took care of us, you know? I will definitely steer my customers to, to, to a better product. Yep. If they're like, I don't know if I should have this or that, I'll definitely tell them what I prefer. Our average customer is, in this neighborhood, is your blue collar, um, fireman, police officer. After 9-11 happened, I just made that flag. I don't even know how it came about. I put an American flag up in the store and I had the New York PD emergency service unit patch. So I took it and just coincidentally stapled it to the flag and hung it on the wall. And then guys were just coming in and ripping patches off. I got patches from all over the country. They were here, they were here for the funeral services. Guys came from all over the place and they just started, they saw the flag and I was just stapling them on there. They just started ripping patches off of their jackets and, and giving them to us. It's our, it's our community, you know? So try everything we can to help out and be part of it.